protesters stand their ground along Palmerston Avenue tonight as police are called in to keep the peace over the Toronto Public Library's decision to follow through on an event accused of promoting hate and intolerance. Good evening. The library said it had an obligation to protect free speech, but it's a move that sparked outrage among the LGBTQ community and beyond. CTV's Tracy Tong is live outside the Palmerston Library with more on how the evening unfolded. Tracy. Well, Zoraida, I can tell you there were some pretty tense moments outside the public library on Palmerston tonight as hundreds of people loudly chanted and protested the decision to allow a controversial blogger speak here tonight. An angry crowd shouted at those leaving the Toronto Public Library on Palmerston tonight. A public institution shouldn't be platforming hate speech like this. Altercations even getting physical after an appearance by self-proclaimed feminist Megan Murphy. For a group that claims an interest in feelings and empathy, these activists don't seem to have any concern for women's feelings. Megan Murphy ascribes uh, value judgment on all women based on their ability or inability to carry a pregnancy. Uh, in, in my view, that's a human rights violation in and of itself. Murphy told a sold out crowd of more than 100 attendees that her views on transgender rights have been misrepresented. I've never said that trans women are not real women. What I have said is that trans identified males are male. And this is because they are, and this is not an insult or a judgment. Uh, this is just a material reality, a biological reality. If you're born male, you remain male for life. There was a heavy police presence as hundreds of LGBTQ community members and their supporters took over the street outside the library. Some eventually finding their way into the building and refusing to leave. Tensions rising between the two sides. I feel angry. I feel angry and confused about why you would come out against human rights. I don't get it. Can we ask you why you showed up here? Yeah, to give support to Megan Murphy. I think it's incredibly hurtful that our public institutions are being used to amplify and promote hate speech uh, in our in our city. Pride Toronto cutting ties with the Toronto Public Library tonight over their decision to host the event to protect free speech. Given that they have not reversed this decision, that we don't see a future working relationship, which is a real shame because for sure we saw us working together into the future. As protesters swarmed the library's main entrance, Murphy was let out discreetly through another exit. And Toronto City Councillor Kristen Wong Tam tweeted tonight saying that the Toronto Public Library wrongly allowed a transphobic speaker use a public space to attack a charter protected group. She says she has moved a motion now to review the booking rules for all public spaces. Reporting live, I'm Tracy Tong. Zoraida, back to you. Thank you, Tracy. The day after hundreds of people protested the appearance of a controversial speaker at a Toronto Library branch. City Council has called for a review of the rules that govern the permitting process for city facilities. A public venues that are publicly funded by taxpayers uh, should be held to a higher standard. Councillor Kristen Wong Tan called on her colleagues to ask the city's top bureaucrat to assess whether the existing policy for renting out city spaces is in line with the municipal commitment to equity, diversity and anti-harassment to uh, ensure that the policy is a strong policy, I think is, is well within our right. Toronto Library officials came under fire for renting out a branch room last night to Megan Murphy, who has alleged that trans women endanger women's rights. But the library executives maintained Murphy's appearance did not violate the board's definition of hate speech. If we have a policy that's allowing discrimination to flourish in our libraries, we need to review and change that policy. Wong Tam points to inconsistencies in the city policy. Earlier this month, city staff cancelled the permit for use of a meeting space at this city aquatic centre after the Christ Forgiveness Ministries group planned a rally in the Church Wellesley Village, which the community perceived as an act of intimidation. But in 2017, a neo-Nazi group was allowed to hold a memorial event at an Etobicoke library, despite outrage from Jewish organizations and human rights advocates. The library board reviewed its booking policy after that incident. 
but most of the time uh, the existing policies do the trick and um, when applied properly uh, um, the right decisions are made. Wong Tem says she's not blaming any bureaucrats. I actually don't think that there's any villains in this particular matter. She just wants to eliminate any possible platform for discrimination. Natalie Johnson, CTV News.